Hi students, today we are going to discussing about the disaster prevention and the mitigation. So prevention is basically the activities and measures to avoid the existing and new disaster risk. So prevention expresses the concept and intention to completely avoid the potential adverse impact of the hazardous events. And mitigation is basically lessening or minimizing the adverse impact of hazardous event. And the adverse impact of hazardous events, uh, particularly the natural hazards, that can be cannot be completely avoided. So in that case, uh, their severity or intensity that can be reduced by various mitigative strategies as well as actions. So if you take the disaster prevention, there are two kind of uh, preventive measures are there, which include both structural and uh, non-structural. So the structural uh, mitigation refers to any physical construction to reduce or avoid possible impact of the hazards. And non-structural kind of mitigation includes the policies, awarenesses and uh, public commitments and methods and operating practices. All these include the natural, sorry, non-structural kind of mitigation. So if you take earthquake, earthquake is one of the uh, natural disasters which make adverse impact on the uh, livelihoods and also make so many damages to the buildings and other things. And for reducing the risk as well as for reducing the adverse impact of this earthquake, our a particular area, certain projects has been introduced which are the National Earthquake Risk Mitigation Projects. So this project is basically aims for strengthening the both structural as well as uh, non-structural kind of mitigative efforts over the areas where the hazardous effect of earthquake is more. And the National Building Code is another kind of uh, effort or another kind of mitigative measure for reducing the adverse impact of the earthquake. So the National Building Code uh, which are basically a comprehensive code and it is actually a national instrument uh, for providing certain guidelines for the constructions, uh, gu guidelines for the uh, for practicing certain construction over all over the India and uh, the primary aim of this national building code is basically to meet the challenges of all natural calamities, to meet uh, various constructions, to meet the challenges of natural calamities. So another one is National Material Technology Promotion Council. The Building Material and Technology Promotion Council is uh, basically uh, introduced to introducing certain uh, retrofitting techniques. Retrofitting technique is means the additional uh, infra uh, additional support or additional structures which are given to certain uh, buildings for preventing the adverse impact of the earthquake. So in this figure you can see this is a retrofitted building. Uh, here, uh, additional structures has been provided. Uh, additional uh, in, uh, structures has been provided to this kind of um, particular building in Jammu and Kashmir. So, retrofitting on the walls and windows. So, by means of this retrofitting techniques, we can reduce the adverse impact of earthquake over this particular areas. Another one is cyclones. Cyclone is another natural hazard and the National Cyclone Risk Mitigation Project is which has been introduced for reducing the adverse impact of the uh, cyclone. The National Cyclone Risk Mitigation Project which has been initiated or launched by Ministry of Home Affairs. And the aim of this project include to upgrade the cyclone forecasting and tracking and warning systems 
and building capacity in multi hazard risk management and to construct the major infrastructures uh, including the multi purpose cyclone uh, shelter homes and embankments so in this figure you can see this is one of the shelter home or uh, multi purpose cyclone shelter uh, uh, in orissa and another uh, initiative for the mitigation and prevention of the cyclone was introduced as the integrated coastal zone management the integrated coastal zone management that is ic uh, ic zmp integrated coastal zone management project was introduced by the ministry of environment and forest and it has launched um, by the uh, under the government of india and the aim of this particular uh, initiative to assist the government of india in building the uh, national uh, capacity for uh, implementing impl implementing uh, a comprehensive coastal uh, management approach all over the country next is our another important natural hazard uh, that is our floods so for minimizing the adverse effect of this floods uh, there are several projects namely the national flood risk mitigation project that is mfrmp and this is envisaged for the mitigation or reduction in risk as well as the severity or the consequences of floods and it aims at ensuring the arrangements are in place to mobilize the resources and capability for relief and rehabilitation as well as reconstruction and recovery from the disasters besides creating awareness among the vulnerable communities so this is one of the important project for reducing the adverse impact of the floods over different areas and another one is flood management programs this flood management programs are basically carried out by the state government as state government uh, has has the uh, responsibility for for managing the water resources hence most of the flood management programs are run by the state governments so here you can see uh, some town protection walls as well as rising and strengthening of embankments on the rivers so all this kind of um, steps are or arrangements are for protecting the areas from the floods so another one is our landslides so the landslide for uh, landslide is considered as one of the another natural disaster and for uh, reducing the uh, risk or whatever the um, adverse impact of this particular hazard uh, certain project namely the national landslide risk mitigation project that has been launched by ntma and over 91 detailed project reports that can be uh, that are prepared on landslide mitigation project by the ntma and here you can see this is doria bridge azam in india this is one of the natural way for protecting the walls of this particular bridge Here, certain this particular system is called the vetio system. Certain kind of uh, plants which are planted over the walls of certain bridge. This is one of the uh, nat natural way of for mitigating the adverse impact of this particular uh, kind of hazard. Another one is tsunami. We know that on twenty six December two thousand four. uh this tsunami has been 
tsunami has arrived on the uh, eastern coast of the india and it made a lot of adverse impact on tamil nadu andhra pradesh and coast of kerala also so for preventing the these kind of hazards natural hazards certain natural measures that can be adopted such natural measures are the planting of the certain trees it may be mangroves or coconut trees or anything so these kind of tree covers is considered as one of the natural mitigative measure for preventing this kind of uh, or for lessening this kind of natural hazards so the tree plantation is considered as one of the cost effective as well as the long lasting means of tsunami mitigation in comparison to the another artificial kind of barriers these so these are some dunes as well as these are some kind of mangroves all these are considered as one of the natural mitigative uh, measures another one is our drought the drought is considered as one of the uh, natural hazard and the department of agriculture and the corporation uh, ministry of agriculture and government of india have taken so many measures for um, the mitigation as well as for the prevention of the adverse impact of this drought and in which the national institute of agriculture and extension hyderabad taken uh, a project called national uh, national project for the integrated drought monitoring for uh, the for reducing the adverse impact of this particular drought and for monitoring the uh, very changes uh, of this particular phenomenon and drought prone areas program and desert development program also has been introduced uh, for the mitigating for mitigating as well as for preventing the adverse impact of this drought and another one is national rain fed area authority in the ministry of agriculture uh, this is also uh, introduced uh, preventive or mitigative efforts for the prevention of the uh, drought and as well as for monitoring of the Uh, drought also and let's see uh, some of the measures which has been taken for the prevention or for the mitigation of this particular hazardous hazardous phenomenon which include the implementation of water harvesting conservation and certain artificial recharging of groundwater and traditional water harvesting as well as conservation and water saving technologies like drip and sprinkler mitig- uh, irrigation for the system and improved water saving from practices and long term irrigation management etc and undertaking the construction of water shed structures for storing of waters and maximizing efficient use of available surface as well as ground water in drought prone areas and using optimally the services from various agencies uh, like icar uh, as well as various organizations like isro and state agricultural universities and other organizations so uh, these are some uh, preventive measures or some measures which are taken for the prevention as well as the mitigation of the drought in drought prone areas next is our forest fire management so this uh, forest fire uh, management is uh, basically uh, the uh, the uh, whatever the programs or whatever the preventive measures that are uh, initiated by the state government in the case of forest fire management so for this a joint forest management committee has uh, is there uh, as well as the intensification of forest management this is uh, this uh, this is uh, this particular concept or has been introduced in the 10th fire plan 
and almost 50 percentage of the funds for the forest fire management has been allocated during that period and central government has issued the national forest fire prevention control guidelines and has also worked on a national master plan on the forest fire control these are some references and thank you